I started designing Mothmail, a cozy 2D platformer where you play a sweet little moth girl named Mitzi who delivers mail to the rest of the forest residents. In this devlog, we'll go over the basic character movement and the camera follow code, as well as the idle animation for the character and where I got the other assets I'm using. Disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. I'm not a very experienced dev as I've only been messing around in Unreal Engine for two to three-ish years, and I've been using visual scripting. I've only recently started typing code myself, and on top of that, I'm using a dying engine that has forsaken the industry because I'm kind of crazy. That being said, if you do learn anything from this, let me know! And on the flip side, if you're an experienced dev and have any tips, feel free to leave them in the comments. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started! I started with the idle animation for the protagonist. I'm an artist by trade, so it felt the most natural for me to start there. I knew I wanted to make something cute and cozy, and I thought, hey, moths are cute. And so are little handwritten letters. How about I make a moth mail delivery game? And so the basic premise was born. I was originally going to make her black and red like Mothman, but I figured white and fluffy like a Venezuelan poodle moth would look really cute, so I went with that. The next thing I did was start a project in Unity. After I did that, I imported my sprite sheet and sliced it up properly. Then I gave it a 2D box collider, a rigid body component, and imported the player control code that I made for my C-sharp class, cause ain't nobody got time to rewrite code that they already made two days ago. Here's how it works. Okay, so the way that this works is I have some public and private variables over here. Um, two public ones for the character speed and being able to tell whether the character is walking or not. Um, I also have something that grabs the rigid body and variables for the horizontal and vertical axes. On the start function, I have it grab the rigid body so it knows what it's referencing and what it can do to it. Then I have fixed update, which calls for every physics step and is used for physics. These two functions grab the axes for the input axes for both horizontal and vertical input. Um, and they just set the variables move horizontal and move vertical. And then this uh, makes it so whenever you press one of those buttons, it multiplies your input by the speed you give it, which right now we have the speed set to 10. And then it applies that. And then this just sets the rigid body's velocity to movement. This checks whether this section right here just checks whether, like, which direction the player is fit moving so that the sprite faces the correct way. If anyone knows a more efficient way of doing this, please let me know. Next, I put in some camera code that I also made as homework that just follows the player with an offset. I figured it was looking a little bland, so I turned to itch.io for some tile sets. I found a really beautiful one called Oak Woods by Brillove, so shout out to them! I imported it into Unity and set up the background layers to give some context to where Mitzi was standing. And that was about all I have done so far. I started later in the day, so I didn't make as much progress as I would have if I had been able to start in the morning, but I'm still happy with what I got done and proud of myself for making this devlog. I've been meaning to start making them for a while, but I'm in too deep with my main project for it to make any sense, and I didn't have any ideas for small free-to-play games until now. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.